But in, now uh, the kicker is the Lions are first on the waiver wire. They could have had anyone that's on waivers, so they're not going to sign Deshaun Jackson. But well, why? Why wouldn't they? By the way, exactly. Why not just take him for the remainder of the year? That that's that's something. That's one I'm of those, done asking that question. Yeah, that that's, yeah, they don't pick anyone up. It's I'm just it's a, it, it's a moot point. I don't understand yeah. why they're not trying to help themselves out. Why are they don't want to win? They want to lose. That just they shows want, it. Yeah, they they, they want to lose. They want they, they want to go on seventeen. It appears they want to have the best picking spot in this NFL draft, and they're waiting for twenty twenty two, and they're waiting for twenty twenty three in terms of loading up that team and bringing in the identity that they want, whatever the hell that is. But I got news flash for you. Look at how the Rams did it. The Rams, great scouting department, great drafting department. They Their players draft. They draft well. That's how they have success. Oh, but you know what else they do? They make the key acquisitions. They give up the key moves to get the acquisitions. You look at Vaughn Miller. You look at Indomit and Sue. You look at Marcus Peters. You look at Wentworth. You look at every move they make is, is, is key. It's, and that's not the case for every organization. It's not, but you have a model. And I'm hoping Brad Holmes has something to do with that. That's why we had we hired him here because it's alleged that he had something to do with how they were piecing together their team out there at SoFi. So if that's the case, you know maybe it's time for us to sit back, relax, and see what happens in two zero two two and two zero two three. So Jalen Smith now is he a free agent or is he on waivers? I don't know. This is the second team yeah. that's cut Jalen Smith Can, in, in a couple with, of what's weeks. What's up with that? You think? Something all got to be something off yeah, the field or one, some sort of injury because he's a 26 year old. Former Pro Bowl player, something like two, two years two, ago. Two teams don't cut you. No, so something's wrong. That, yeah, that's so something's wrong. Whatever that is, I don't want to speculate. I don't know, but something is not right when two teams cut you. I will say, I, I want to ask you guys this question too because I'm starting to. I was a little disappointed that the Lions didn't do anything yesterday. If not to try to trade somebody to get additional picks, because you've got what you've got two firsts, you've got a second. You've got a third and a compensatory third this year. You got no fourth, no fifth this year get another because number of trades. Two. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. You know, I, I, you know. People get mad when you play fantasy land trades around here. So I'm not going <laughs> to do that. But what I do want to say is whether you're trying to get additional picks or whether you're trying to try to win a game this year. I'm very disappointed in Brad Holmes that he did nothing yesterday. And that nothing includes picking up anybody on the waiver wire. I mean, that's it's giving me an indication on him as well where, look, this draft class is what this draft class was. I'm not going to determine this draft class, but there are some things you can question with this draft class. You better <laughs> believe it. And we do every day with the drafting of Panay Sewell. Not only that, but the one transaction you did make – the guy can't even get on the field, and you burned a fifth round pick this for week, it. Though. He, didn't catch he didn't catch anything. <laughs> he didn't catch anything. He didn't catch anything. But he got to wear a uniform Trinity on the sideline. I was excited he, to see he, him. He got to yeah. wear a uniform on the yeah. sideline. You know, th this is and now nothing at the trade deadline. This doesn't feel very good to me. Um, and I'm not Why not deal Jamal Williams to someone that needs a running back? Well, you obviously don't need him. Well, well whatever. I, I'm just saying that, I, that's I a chip. The, the, He's a good chip. It doesn't seem like there was any sort of urgency to build this team, and I don't know if it's because there's way too much to do, or or if you're just waiting and letting everything come to you. If you're just going to take these five players in the first three rounds of the draft and say these are my five starters this year, like. I don't know at what point you start to question some of Brad Holmes' decisions here because I heard how great of a scout in the uh, rounds three through seven right. Bob Quinn was, too, when he was with the New England Patriots. This is starting to feel slightly similar to that. You know what? Like I'm, I'm the type of individual, when I go shopping, like if, if, the, if the store mall doesn't have everything that I need, I don't even buy a couple of things that were available. If I go to a grocery store and I got seven out of, you know, 10, 11 items that I want, I won't, even, I won't even get the seven. I'm like, the, just like you said, I'm like the hell with it. I'll go home and I'll wait and come back a day. I wonder, is that now like the mindset of Brad Holmes? Is you know what? I'm not going to nitpick and pick up a couple players here or people that I don't even know might be here or that Dan Campbell wants next year, et cetera. 
We're just gonna wait till next year. We we can exercise every pick that we got. We exercise the identity, the builder, the culture. Like here's the next moment. Here's the next step. Got the best opportunity in the draft with the first one. Then we have you know the next round. Uh, the next next year, 2023. I think that might be a situation. I gotta get a break. Maz will let you comment on this coming up next. Armani and Edwards. I want it all. Bottom line.